You know what I'm saying? We gonna see the downfall of this uh, wicked ass nation. All right, these Edomites that's in ruling rulership right now. We gonna see they downfall. They said the Lord, man, and the kingdom of heaven being established. You know, we gonna be put back into rulership over the nations, man. Being able to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man, without having to worry about uh, going off. You know, that's why uh, you still have that scripture you just read. Yeah, uh, yeah. Second Corinthians four and seventeen, it reads. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. That's right, man. You know? So, yeah, you know, we only... Yeah, it's fucked up right now. You know what I'm saying? You catching hell. You know what I'm saying? From your job, your, your family. You know right. what I'm saying? Your kids, your, your wife or right. whatever. You know what right. I'm saying? Or, you know, having to witness all kind of iniquities day in and day out. You know what I'm saying? But it's all, you know, temporary. Man. Temporary, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be delivered out of this, man. Thus said the Lord, man. You know? Right. I mean, that's 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 light light affliction, man. You know what I'm saying? Losing your job, that's light affliction. Um, your bitch committing adultery, that's light affliction, man. You know? I mean, whatever you can think of, that's light affliction. Um, for the kingdom, man. Right. I just want to read this real quick, man. Second um, Corinthians eleven and twenty three. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant in stripes, above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths off. Now this is Paul speaking. He said, I am more in labors, more abundant, and stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, and death more oft. Of the Jews, five times I received forty stripes, save one. Thrice I was beaten with rods, hmm. once I was stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck, shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. And journeys oft in perils of water, and perils of robbers, and perils of my own countrymen, and perils by the heathen. In perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils amongst false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. Besides these things that are without that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Who is weak and I am not weak? Who is offended and I burn not? If I must need glory, I will glory of the things which concern mine infirmities. The God and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Masiach, which is blessed forevermore, knoweth that I lie not. So all this, man, we go through this light afflictions, man. Paul telling you, man, I was beaten with rods. I was stoned, shipwrecked, perils of robbers, perils of his own countrymen, perils in the city and in the wilderness, perils of false brethren, man. Paul, he went through hell, man. So if any, if anybody, like I say, who is weak and I am not weak, who is offended and I burn not, man. We we ain't been through uh, ha half of this, man. Right. But Paul endured, man. So you know what I'm saying. This is this is light afflictions, man. Uh, what we going through? Um, Sirach two and five. For as gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, believe in him. And he will help thee in order thy way of right and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward should not fail. Now what's the reward for believing in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man? Salvation and everlasting life. Um... Just real quick, John 3 and 15, it reads, and uh, 316, so God so loved the world, that world is the elect of Israel, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, that whosoever is the elect of Israel, believing in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's that's 
that's the I'm going to read it again Sirach 2 and 6 believe in him and he will help thee order thy way aright and trust in him ye that fear the Lord and wait for his mercy shall not go as, go aside, aside lest ye fall ye that fear the Lord believe him and your reward shall not fail Verse 9, ye that fear the Lord hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did any, Salah, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And I'm going to read that again. Sirach 2 and 10, look at the generations of old and see. Did any ever trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Little quick precept. Romans 15 and 4 for, whos, for whatsoever things are written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So this was written for um a for this was this was written for our learning, you know, more going toward the future. I mean it's telling you to look at the generations of old mm -hmm. and see. Did, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? No. Did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? No. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? None. So that's the answer for that. Verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering, and very pitiful in forgiving sins, and saveth in the time of affliction. Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands, and the sinner that goeth two ways. I had a quick one for that. James 1 and 8. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Sirach 2 and 12. Woe to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. A double minded man. Woe to him. 13. Woe to him that is faint hearted for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord visit when the Lord shall visit you? You're gonna be destroyed. Right. I got something. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews ten and thirty five. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great co recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience. That after you had done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. Say, hey, that's that's it. Self-explanatory, man. You know, you gotta have. It's all about have, being patient and having faith in the, in the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the scripture says, "Woe unto you, death and destruction, that have lost patience." And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? You're going to perish, man. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Like it say in the um in, in the in the last chapter in Ecclesiastes, in Ecclesiastes. This is the duty of the whole man. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. Um, Sirach 2 and 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him and they that love him shall be filled with the law and what's love keeping the commandments they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight saying we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of man for his majesty for, for as his majest, majesty is so is his mercy man so we would rather fall into the hands of the Lord, right. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, than fall into the, the hands uh, of, of, of men, man.
you know, I mean, shit, you know, I mean, that's, that's just self-explanatory, man, to hell with the world, to hell with Esau, to hell with you niggas, to hell with the, the, the following the doctrines of men, I'm, I'm, I'm going with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man, right, because at the end of the day, that's, that's what all that matters, like, it said, uh, it was that Ecclesiastes, you know what I'm saying, the whole duty of man is to follow the, the Lord, man, basically, you know what I'm saying? So the hell with uh with these other motherfuckers out here on man, you know. So You got something else on that, bro? Nah, that was uh I'm a, well, shit, we're gonna end it up with this then, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is uh Joshua twenty four and fifteen and it reads And if it seem evil unto you to serve the most high, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood of the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh, man. As right. for me and my house, we serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shop, man. Come. And that's all to it, man. Death, death to Babylon, death to the Esau, death to the two thirds. If you ain't, you know, I, I guess plain to it, man. To hell with right. you, man. Straight up, man. Hey, man, you know, with that, man, we're going to. Say shalom to all the brothers, man. And, uh, you know, keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? Brothers, you know what I'm saying? Shit, we ain't got that much longer to go, man. You know what I'm saying? So with that, man, you know. Right. Let me say this real quick, man. And for you, you know what I'm saying? And for you, you cats out there faking the funk, man. You, you can fool man, right. but you're not fooling your how about Shem, your how about Shah, man. You better, you better tighten up and, and unless you fall into the hands of the most high. And he going to deal with you, man. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I ain't calling out no names or nothing, but... A hit dog always holler, man. If the shoe mm -hmm. fit wet, if it don't, leave it alone. But the, a hit dog always hollers. And with that, shout out one. Shout out one.